Hello there YouTube, welcome along to another review video. In today's re uh, review video we are reviewing this. That's right, this is Doctor Who The Complete Series 9 box set, which I watched earlier in the summer by the way. So let's review it. Uh, in fact, before we begin, I'm going to start off by showing off a few clips, right? Because there are a few magical moments that happen in Series 9 of Doctor Who. Um, this moment uh, with Davros is one of them. Then we've got uh, the Doctor threatening a shielder. Read the stories. You know who I am. And in all of that time, did you ever hear anything about anyone who stopped me? I know the Doctor. The Doctor. The Doctor is no longer here. You are stuck with me. And I will end you. And why not throw in a cheeky deleted scene as well from the special features? Uh, uh, I hate wood. So there we go, uh, those are a few clips for you that I want to share with you and now let's get into um, some of the episodes that I found were my favourite and some of them not so favourite. So let's start off uh, with, let's start off with The Magician's Apprentice and The Witch is Familiar because that was quite good actually, I loved the fact that they decided to bring back Series 9 with, um, with, two, with, two, with a two-parter really, I mean there's loads of two-parters. Honestly, you cannot get enough of those two-parters. So yes, this season contains a lot of two-parters, um, of course, and The Magician's Apprentice and The Witch's Familiar is the first two-parter of the series, which features the Daleks. And unfortunately, the Daleks cannot say two-parters. Well, they might do, I don't know. So there we go. Um, so yes, they were quite good episodes, of course. It features the return of Davros, who was last seen when David Tennant was the Doctor. The Tenth Doctor, in fact. So, yes, and then, uh, yeah, so that's all good. And, of course, it returned the, um, it returned Missy as well. Missy returned. You know, if she comes back in Series 10, I so hope that she's going to have a story with the Daleks because it seems like there is unfinished business with her and the Daleks by the end of uh, The Witch's Familiar, so there we are. Anyway, so there we are, just trying to point those few things out. Anyway, so then after that we had Under the Lake and Before the Flood, which again were very good episodes as well. It featured some ghosts underwater. So yes, again, they were very good episodes. Uh, the Girl Who Died, that's The Woman Who Lived. Now, those two episodes are when Maisie Williams, some of you may know from Game of Thrones, uh, stars in Doctor Who. So, And of course she does then begin to feature a lot in this series. Um, so there we go. Then, of course, then we've got the Zygon invasion and the Zygon inversion as well, which is basically, it's a very weird story, but it was a very good story, though, I must admit. Um, so there we go. Um, sleep no more. And I'm still getting sleepless nights from those episode, from that episode anyway. It is a very, very scary, um, episode. It really is, trust me. Um, yeah, especially towards the end. Um, so there we go. Face the Raven. Which was a little bit sad towards the end because uh, we kind of said goodbye to Clara at that point, the Doctor's companion. Uh, of course, she left, and yeah, and uh, it was it was quite good how she wanted to save her friend from dying, so she reversed the spell that he had, um, and yeah, there we go. And then of course, Heaven Sent, which was an episode that only featured Peter Capaldi, was really amazing. Now, my funniest bit was probably the bit when it kept repeating itself over and over and over again because it was going into the future, like billions and billions and billions of years into the future. That was my favourite part of the episode, by the way. Um, so, yes, and then, of course, then after that we have the series finale, which is Hellbent. Now, um, again, a really good episode because it featured the Time Lords and Gallifrey and it kind of brought back Clara from the dead, but I didn't really get the ending of the of the finale it was a little bit too confusing in fact it shouldn't have ended the way it should have that's just my honest opinion it shouldn't have ended the way it should have but there we are and also as well in this series it's got two christmas episodes uh last christmas and the husbands of river song uh which are also very good festive episodes to watch 
if you ever feel like watching anything festive. Um, so there we go. Right, I'm going to very quickly give you my review then, uh, which is, I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10 because it was a little bit better compared to Series 8. Of course, Series 8, I gave it an 8 out of 10. This series was a little bit better. Again, it was still a bit dark, a little bit serious, but... Yeah, I think it was a really good series, to be honest, especially with the Daleks and the Zygons, you know, so, and of course, River Song was in it, um, so yeah, and of course, the standalone Peter Capaldi episode as well, with him just being the Doctor, so there we go, um, right, anyway, uh, that's my review for that, uh, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, my next YouTube video is coming out on Monday, uh, which is going to be a little celebratory video, celebratory video of uh, me reaching 5,000 plus posts on Instagram. So make sure you tune in for that. Uh, but from me here, it's goodbye and thank you very much indeed for watching this video.